Elijah. How he was able to run on foot and overtake chariot and horses. Any questions? Amen. Now let's look at let's try to understand what these chariots are talking about. What does this stand for? When we are talking about chariots, what do we mean? You know, chariots is when you have a horse driving a chariot. As I was saying before, it's like you have a four-wheel drive that is moving at top speed. And all through the Old Testament, we see that chariots was very, very important in the economy of various nations. And this city that we are calling Jezel, this city has a lot of these chariots. Because of that, this city, anytime they go to war, it has been very successful because the chariots and the horses were very fast. So they were able to defeat their enemies and they were able to conquer all those who stand against them. Amen. So when we look at this story in 1 Kings 14, 18, 41 to 46, we can see that the chariots here represent the strength of a man. It shows that mankind can develop a, 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 a weapon or a vessel or a transportation that can be very fast. And it has power. It can accomplish so many things. It has the power to move people from one place to another within a short time. It has weapons in it that can be used to destroy and defeat enemies in war. So this chariot and horse is a very powerful resource. In today's world, we see that so many people are living this chariot lifestyle. They have the kind of lifestyle that you can call a chariot lifestyle. These are people that will say, for me, I am comfortable. Everything I need, I get it easily. I don't have struggles. I don't have difficulties. When I need money, I just write a check. Because the money is there. I have connections. Every office in Ghana, I can just go. I know people everywhere. I don't need anybody. Everything that will make my life and the life of my children and family comfortable, I have. It is called a chariot lifestyle. It is a life that makes people become proud. It is a life that makes people become arrogant. It is a life that makes people depend on themselves and forget God. It is a life that makes people say, look, you can take your God and go. For me, I have 
my chariots. People that have this chariot lifestyle, you can see that they are making progress in life. They seem to be achieving their dreams and choosing to be getting their goals. So they are moving on in life. So you look back and at times you envy their progress. But these people using their human strengths they are using their human ability they are not depending on supernatural assistance so a time is coming they will be stuck you see when Elijah told Ahab to run ahead I said that the rules in those days they are not tart. So anytime it's grace, the road becomes very muddy. So when horses are running in the muddy road, they get stuck on the road. That is why Elijah was telling Ahab that go ahead before the rain stops you. People that have childless lifestyle, they don't depend on God. They are people that will get stuck in life. Just like the prophet Elijah, prophet Elijah, you will receive divine assistance from God. And you will run on foot. And you will overtake the chariot and the horses. Amen. Amen. Divine acceleration does not depend on chariot and horses. It depends on how you yourself you are depending on God. So if you are depending on your child and your horses, you cannot be accelerated. And when you see your friends and colleagues that are running ahead of you, and you think that for you, you have slow progress. Oh, don't worry at all. They are moving in chariots. But a rain is coming. The road will be muddy. Their horses will be stuck. That is why divine acceleration is going to push you to run on foot and overtake them. Amen. Amen. But that can only be possible if you depend totally on God. If you are someone who has put your trust in God. If you are someone who says, God, I have no power on my own. I have no ability to achieve this dream. 
That is the only way you can enjoy divine acceleration. Amen. Amen. Any questions? If you are, yes, mama. Amen. Amen. 